All right. Welcome to All I Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. And today we have a question, a challenge on bearing and distances. Now the question says two ships leave a port at the same time. One travels at five kilometers per hour on a bearing of 0, 046 degree. The other travels at 9 km per hour on a bearing of 127 degree. How far apart are the two ships after two hours of sailing? So the number one thing we do in bearing is to bring out the diagram. Once we're able to get the diagram, then the solving is halfway done. So we proceed. Solution. All right. We go over the question again. We take the first sentence. Two ship traveling leave a port at the same time. One travel at five kilometer per hour on a bearing of zero forty six degree. So we are to map out forty six degree from the four cardinal point. So we take the x axis. This is the first point, and this first point is assumed to be the port where the two ships are before traveling so this is not this is east this is south this is west sorry this is a bit bad so take this all right so from here we have your north we have the south we have the east and we have the west so he takes his bearing from this angle from north to east here is 90 degree. So starting on this bearing, meaning we are going to take halfway, one degree below the half line. So it travels in this direction. All right. Getting to this point, this is where ship A. We can give this ship A. Then we have the bearing to be 46 degree or oh, 46 degree and the speed is 5 kilometer per hour 5 kilometer per hour let's look at the second sheet the duration of its movement it says the order travels at 9 kilometer per hour on a bearing of 127 degree. This is where the port is. So we are to map out 127 degree from this spot. And you know, from year to year is 90 degree. Year to year is another 90 degree. That gives 180 degree on the whole. So if I are to map out 127 degree, so we are to move into this quadrant by 40, sorry, by 37 degree. Because if you subtract 90 degree from 127, you are left with 37 degree. So we are going into the second quadrant here by 37 degree. We gave us something like this. All right. So here, we now have our line down to this point. So we can write this out, 127 degree. All right. So from here, the question you may ask now, why is this leg longer than this? Because this one sail on a greater speed, 9 kilometer per hour. So, digs will cover more distance than ship A. Hence, this leg is longer than this bro. So, the speed he used for this is 9 km per hour. Getting here, you draw another four cardinal 
point. All right, so let's look at this now. This is ship A, this is ship B. So we have to draw a line that will link the two of them together. So we can join the two. All right, so having done this, we can turn this port P, give this ship A, give this ship B. We now have our diagram, our triangle. So we have to bring out this angle here, the value of this angle. We cannot bring out the value of this angle. We cannot bring out the value of this angle. But we can bring out the value of everything in here. So from the first statement, from year to year, if we are to carry out the subtraction, this is going to give us 90 minus 46. And that will give us 44. Then, on this other side, between here and this leg is 37. So, we have 37 degrees. So, bringing out everything in here will give us 30, 44 plus 37. So, 4 plus 7 will give us 11, carry 1. 4 plus 3, we have 7 plus the 1 you carry, that gives us 8. So, here we have 81 degree all right look at what we are looking for here the question is how far how far means the distance but what it is given in year and year are the speed not the distance so how do we now convert this very speed to distance so from here we proceed For ship A, look at the speed. Five kilometer per hour. Speed ship B, nine kilometer per hour. And both of them, they arrive at their current destination after two hours. So we now look at the relationship that brings time, speed, and the distance we are looking for together. And that relationship X speed is equal to distance covered all over time taking to cover that distance very simple so from here we make distance the subject of the formula because it is distance we are looking for so this now implies distance equal to speed times time all right, so we now look for the distance covered by ship A using this speed. So this now gives us for ship A, for ship A, we're going to have distance is equal to, what is the speed? Five kilometer per hour. So we have five times what is the time two hours so times two this implies 10 kilometer so ship a covered a distance of 10 kilometer let's put it here 10 kilometer we go to ship b so the distance for ship b is what i have here for ship b distance for ship B, we use the same relationship, which is distance is equal to the speed for ship A times the time. So this gives us 9 times 2, which is 18 kilometer. So under this, here we have 18 kilometer. You can now see the reason why this leg is now longer than the first leg. 
because this one covers more ground. So long the speed is higher, definitely it will cover more ground than ship A, whose speed is just five kilometers per hour. Now that we have gotten our distances for this and this, how do we now calculate the distance here? Now, let's take a look at this. The side that is facing this is your small letter A. The side that is facing this is your small letter B because we have B here. And the side that is facing what we're looking for is your small letter P. So how do we now get P, which is the distance between A and B? Yeah, we have two major rules or formula we use in calculating these stances in bearing. We have the sine rule and we also have the cosine rule. Now, the ground on which we can use the cosine rule is two sides given plus the included angle. Now, two sides are given. The angle that is existing between the two sides is also known. So, we can use the cosine rule. And using cosine rule, we have to quote this cosine rule based on this figure literally. Here we have P, here we have A, here we have B. So, our quotation of sine rule, sorry, cosine rule, must be based on what we have here now. So, from here, we we'll say, using cosine rule. Cosine rule is same thing as the cosine formula. So let's quote it. It says the square of the side we are looking for, and the side we are looking for is AB. So we have line AB or square is equal to the square of this other side, which is line BP. So we have here bracket line b p all square blocks the square of the other side which is line a p so we have here line a p square minus two minus two into line b p so we have here line b p times line AP, AP, cos the angle facing this part here, which is angle APB. So we have here cos angle APB. All right. Now that we have this, the next thing we do is to bring the values to all these we have in here now. So what is line A, B? Line A, B, X, X, which is P. So we can equally put in here P square equal to B, P. What is line B, P? Look at line B, P, which is equivalent to 18 kilometer, not the speed. It is the distance we are considering here. So we have 18 square plus AP, 10 kilometer, not the 5 kilometer per hour. So we have here 10 square minus 2 bracket, 18 bracket, close bracket, 10, close bracket, cross 81 degree, which is this angle here. All right. So the game is played out now. So we proceed again. This is equal to what is 18 square? 18 square simply means 18 times 18. So this gives us 18 times 18. That gives us 324. So we have 324 plus 1. 10 square will give us 100 minus. 2 times 18 will give us 360. The times 10 will give us, sorry, 2 times 18 will give us 36. Times 10 will give us 360. Okay? Then the value of cos 
eight one x times use our calculator again. We have here cos eight one degree is equal to zero point one five six four. All right. So from here we proceed. If we add these two together, this will give us four twenty four minus okay minus so we punch 360 times 0 0.1564 that gives us 56.30 so we can go ahead to subtract this so if we subtract this this will give us 424 minus 56.30 so that gives us 377.7 mind you bring down your p this way so we have p square is equal to this we are not looking for p square as you know we are looking for just the value of p so we take the square root of both sides so this we give us here the square root of p they also take the square root of this side. So with this, the square root will take care of the square. So this will give us square, we cancel this two here. So we are now left with P. So P automatically will give us P equal to, let's find the square root of that figure. So we have square root of 377.7. That gives us 19.43. So if we approximate this, this will give us to the nearest whole number. This will give us, therefore, P is equal to the line we we're looking for, which is this line A, B, which is equal to 19 kilometer so 19 kilometer is the distance between the ship a and ship b after traveling for a period of two hours using this speed and a using this speed so if you gain a value from our videos kindly give our videos a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe too, so that you will get the videos once they are uploaded on YouTube. Once again, this is Online Mass TV, where we drop at least a video every other day. You're welcome.